All right, I want to clear some things up and, and update you guys a little bit on the COVID situation that I'm dealing with. Uh, my my loving uh, feather feather ruffling wife at times. Uh, one thing that she does is she keeps me honest. So every once in a while, uh, she decides she's going to listen to the podcast that I put out, especially if I put out something about, um, you know, uh, my personal life or family life or something like that. She, she happens to tune in. So, um, and what I didn't really mean to, but I, apparently it came across this way uh, with my COVID update before is that um, you know, it was nothing. And I, I, that's not really the message I was trying to convey. Uh, I think I was just saying that what I meant was the worst of it, you know, it lasted three to maybe four days. That was the worst of it. Now, I'm not saying it, it went away. Um, I'm actually, I'm still to this day testing positive and dealing with effects from COVID. Um, just general lethargy and yeah, I'm tired all the time. And then bouts of, um, kind of dizziness or lightheadedness. And I'll tell you what, it actually, what happened is, is I didn't really have any like congestion at all with, with, with COVID, with my experience until recently. And it's kind of strange. It's like, the main issues I dealt with were the, the body aches, the headaches, um, which is very odd for me. I don't get headaches. Normally, I do not get headaches at all. I'm a freak of nature. I don't even know what a bad headache is, um, but I did have a pervasive headache. It just stuck around for three or four days straight. I had to take uh, goodies powder. That's what I took for the goodies headache powder. Um, and that was really the only thing besides vitamins and stuff like that. Um, and, and, you know, hydration. It's the only thing I took while, you know, uh, trying to recover from COVID, like to deal with the aches and pains. Um, but since then, you know, in the past, I'd say four or five days, and I've now had, I've been testing positive for COVID now for, uh, I think today will be the 13th day. Um, so kind of crazy. And like I said, it's not nearly as bad as it was initially, but there's just these like symptoms that just keep hanging on. Um, and even some new ones developed. So at first I hadn't dealt with any loss of taste or smell, um, but now I've pretty much lost my sense of smell. I can still taste foods, uh, but I really can't smell anything, man. Like, um, you know, there was uh, something burning in the oven earlier today. I I, I, I saw the smoke from it, uh, but I couldn't smell it at all. Um, same thing with, you know, foods that would normally have a very strong smell. I, I, I can't smell it at all. So that's that's a new symptom that's developed over the past, you know, four or five days. And on top of that, um, I, I'm not terribly congested, but my nose is running intermittently. Um, it's not really bad. It's not keeping me from sleeping or anything like that. But just every so often, I got to blow my nose. You know, I got the sniffles and I wasn't dealing with that at all initially. So... While I may have sounded like, oh, I just breezed right through COVID. No, it was actually, what I was saying was, it wasn't a breeze for about three or four days. Like that was the hard part of it. And then from then on, it's just been this kind of like, you know, stagnant, like this hanging around overall. That's why I said I was only, you know, at maybe 90% better. Um, and that might even be lower, you know, because honestly, the energy is, is probably the worst part. The tiredness and, and lack of energy. Um, I'm a type of person, I'm usually pretty active. And um, along with doing the stuff I do, like, you know, parenting, going to work, all, all that stuff. Um, sometimes helping out around the house. Um, I, 
you know, I also, I, I work out regularly. I, I make these podcasts. I'm very active, um, but not at all since, since I came down with COVID. Uh, it's really definitely put a damper on productivity and just motivation which and I don't even like that word motivation I, I'm much more of a, a proponent of like discipline and and habit rather than motivation I think motivation is fleeting um, but you know there's just this lack of get up and go that I normally have and it's just weighing on me it sucks man it sucks so yeah I didn't want to give the, the the impression that that I just breezed through COVID it wasn't no big deal um, that's that's not the case at all uh, I you know it was like a bad flu or cold uh, for three or four days and then it has just stuck around as kind of this really annoying uh, cold now where I'm like like I said stuffy nose from time to time, um, getting little bouts of dizziness or lightheadedness, and I'm just lethargic. I don't want to do shit. I have to force myself to like get my ass up and go do anything. Um, I haven't gotten back to working out. Um, you know, I probably shouldn't yet quite, quite yet anyway, uh, being that I'm still testing positive, but you know, I have to force myself to, um, go to work and, and, go pick up the kids from school, whatever it might be. It's, it's, it's a real chore where it didn't really feel that way before. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up because my wife, you know, when she listened to it, she's like, yeah, it sounds like you had no problems. And you know, you're coming home to me telling me how tired you are and how you don't feel like doing anything. And like, you're telling the, your, uh, YouTube listeners, your podcast listeners that, you know, it was a breeze and now you're back to normal. And I don't want to, I don't, I hope that it didn't come across that way, um, but if it did, hey, I'm clearing it up now. It it has been something that has stuck around. It was just the, it's not nearly as bad as it was initially, and what I was trying to say was even that initial thing was not the worst sickness I've ever been through. I've had worst bouts of the flu. I've had worse uh, issues with. Uh, uh, upper respiratory infections and um, you know dealt with strep throat things like that and have had a much I, I feel like a much worse time battling it um, but this is like it's kind of just this dull annoying fucking thing that won't go away so hopefully it does I'm going to continue taking my vitamins I'm going to hopefully get back to being a little more active um but yeah so yeah just clearing some things up still dealing with it still testing positive um i went and got another uh, i got went and got an official test today uh, at the pharmacy gonna wait it's a pcr test so i'm waiting for the results on that to see if i'm still uh testing positive and you know officially testing positive because most of the tests I've done have just been at home uh, Binax tests. So, all right, that's it. If you guys enjoy this update, which I don't know why you would, <laughs> but if you did, please like the video, uh, share it, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, normally what I do here is pop culture and entertainment stuff. So if you're into that sort of thing, please stick around, subscribe, um, favorite, follow the podcast. And if you do decide to stick around, subscribe, favorite, or follow, then I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks.